In this video, I'm going to talk about the BGP community attribute. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I have this document from the Cisco website. I'm going to scroll up. So this is one of the uh, BGP case studies. So today I'm doing community attribute. So let me just read what uh, community attribute is. The community attribute is a transitive optional attribute in the range of zero to, I think this is uh, four billion. The community attribute is a way to group destinations in a certain community and apply routing decisions according to those communities. The routing decisions are accept, prefer, redistribute, among others. You can use throw, you can use route maps to set the community attributes. The route map set command has this syntax. So I have found this by doing some research. I have found this document as well from the Cisco website. And this document demonstrates how the BGP community attribute can be used in order to control the routing policy in its upstream service uh, service provided network. So I have tried this myself. Uh, so this is the network diagram and I have the same diagram, almost the same diagram in GNS3. So I have, yeah, I have tried this myself and verified configurations and actually simulate, uh, did the simulations as what it says in the document. Uh, actually here, simulate here. So I shut down the this link just to simulate the the redundancy of of the uh, network. So I'm gonna show you how uh, I'm gonna show you the configurations and the uh, of course the verifications. We can do some verifications and the simulations later. Yeah, so this is the uh, network diagram, and this is the mapping uh, on the ISP routers. So this is the mapping of uh, local preference and community community values on uh, R1 and R2. So this would be the uh, ISP uh, upstream network, AS100. Going back here, so you can use route maps to set the community attributes. The route map set command has this syntax. Let me show you that on the router itself. So this is R3 from the from the uh, diagram here. This is R3. So go going to R3. So this is how you. Uh, this is what the command, uh, a example of a command looks like on the router. So set community, let me actually just, oops. It's actually my mouse, it's not, uh, it's not behaving. Okay. What is the, Permit 10, right? And then match this year, which is this prefix, <coughs> matching that uh, prefix. Let me copy it again. There you go. So this is the command set community. So this 
so yeah so this is the community number which is you have this number and you have that option additive which means that you are adding or appending the the uh, community not overriding anything that is already existing on the router and uh, well-known community which is internet local AES no advertise no export and yeah so on this router I only have four uh, predefined uh, community attribute which is the same uh, as what this document says so no export no advertise internet and local AS okay so it's a well-known community a few predefined well-known communities for use in this command are no export meaning do not advertise to EBGP peers keep this route with an AS an AS no advertise do not advertise the route to any peer internal or external internet advertise this to the internet commu community and route belong router belongs to this community locally as yes, using configuration scenarios to prevent the transit of packets outside the local AS yes. yeah so this here are two examples of route maps that set the community so like what I am showing here on the router itself so yeah, you have that option additive okay and you also have you no know, advertise which is working and local AS as well internet and no export yeah so it it's uh, working as expected on the router so it says here if you do not set the additive keyword 200 replaces any old community that already exists if you use the keyword additive an addition of 200 to the community occurs even if you set the community attribute this attribute does not transit, transmit to neighbors by default in order to send the attribute to a neighbor you must use this command yeah, this is part of the uh, uh, community commands. <clears throat> so this is an example here. I do have the same example in on router three actually. So I'm going to show that to you. BGP here. So this is the send community neighbor send IP send community command. This is the route map. Same for R2. Okay, moving on. So in Cisco iOS software release 12.0 and later, you can configure your communities in three different formats: decimal, hexadecimal, and this format. By default, Cisco software, iOS software uses the older decimal format. In order to configure and display in, uh, issue this command in global configuration, in the global configuration mode. The first part represents the AS number and the second part represents a two byte number. Here is an example. Okay. Yeah, so basically he's just showing, this document is showing as the decimal, a community value in decimal format. And once we have configured this command, we have this format. And that is it from this document. So I'm going to this uh, another document. Uh, the one that I have tried myself so this is the table the mapping of the local preference and the community values 
which is I have this I have here uh, as well and this is the diagram so yeah I have I have almost the same configurations so let me where is that uh, explanation here customer AS in the network diagram customer AS 3 30 wishes to achieve this routing policy with the community attributes. So AS30, this year, AS30. So the, uh, this is this is representing the customer network, and AS100 is representing the uh, ISP network. So the traffic inbound from AS100 distant to network, which is this year. 6.6.6.0 slash 24 and 7.7.7.0 slash 24 is actually from R3 LAN network. Yeah. So going back, the traffic inbound from AS100 distinct to this network comes from comes through this comes through the R1 and R3 link in case. Uh, R1 and R3 link fails, all traffic comes in through R2 and R3. So I have verified this before I, you know, recording this video. And it's working as expected, but I'm just going to do it again. Just, uh, you know, just to, for the sake of verifying it again. The traffic inbound from AS100 distant to network comes through R2 and R3 link here. In case the R2 and R3 link fails, all traffic comes in through R1 and R3 link, this link. Okay, in order to achieve this routing policy, R3 announces its prefixes as follows. So to R1, um, let me show you from R3. This is how R3 is doing this particular uh, policy. So basically, um, I have created this access list. 101 for this route and 102 for this route and I have created this route map uh, to R1 and I am setting the community for this route I'm setting this community this uh, 100 colon 300 and for this route I'm setting the community 100 colon 250 and the uh, route to R2 which is this link here I'm I have this route map right so for this route the community is this and for this route the community is this and I apply the route maps outbound to R1, this route map, and outbound to R2, this route map. Okay, and so this is just explaining the uh, the uh, how R3 and all the routers are doing the policy. Okay, let me just scroll down and just, you know what, let me also explain, because I explained the, the, config, the, uh, the routing policy on R3, R, yeah, R3. Let me just at least explain the, how it looks in R1. So on R1, this is the configuration on R1. So 
so basically on R1 I have created this community lists one and two and permitting the community uh, which is this so I have these community right 100 column 250 100 uh, column 300 so I have I have this mapping or uh, community lists on R1 for this community list one permit for this community value and community list two permit for this community value and then I have created a route map or route maps and match the community which is this community here and set the local preference to 30 so the community list this here is actually what this route or a prefix right right so the community value for this prefix is this so on R1, <coughs> I'm matching that uh, community and setting the local preference to 130. And community 2, I'm setting the local preference to 125. So this is peering to R3, right? So peer R3. And I am um, uh, applying the route map to R3 inbound here and of course this is the uh, R2 which is my uh, IBGP neighbor here so I'm using next top self okay going back let me at least uh, yeah I think that's all for R1 so basically again you have to configure this command so you so you, you have that uh, human readable uh, community value and so I think this is how you sh you can do it so you set the community list first and then you you create the route map and you apply the route map to the neighbor. Now I'm going to I'm going to try to create uh, to make another video uh, explaining or just uh, going through a step, going through the steps that you can perform uh, configuring uh, the BGP community. So. That, um, looking for that uh, here so this is how we can simulate like I said earlier in the event of failure of one link for example this link here uh, we're in R3 link all traffic must follow the R2 and R3 link so this link actually you can simulate that if you shut down the link between, of course, R1 and R3. So I'm going to R1 and show IP interface brief. So this is my interface going to R1 here, uh, serial zero slash zero, uh, which is which has this IP address. So I'm going to shut down that port. You know what I have not seen I have not showed you I have not shown you the the existing setup yet so I'm actually gonna go just do 
let me just uh, do show IPBGP. So this is the route. This is the route on R3 LAN, right? Here, this route and this route. So from R1 perspective, uh, it is uh, it it gets to the route via R3, which is expected because that has this route has a local preference of 130. But for this route, it's choosing R2, the internal, the IBGP uh, neighbor this year, because that link. A route has a higher local preference, which is 130, compared to the compared to this link here, which is R3, R1 and R3, right? That has a local preference of 125. So uh, let's say I'm going to trace route to. Let's try this. Uh, that. So it's choosing that route. And how about that? So it's choosing this route, which is expected, right? I'm gonna cancel that. Uh, Let me show you R2 as well. So from R2 perspective, uh, for this route, it's choosing the IBGP route, which is R1, that has a higher local preference compared to R3. Let me show you the, this here. And for this route, it's choosing R3. And let me show you the this output, the output of this uh, command. So here it says best, right? Um, it's choosing this route, the IBGP, and you can see that it's best internal. And this here, uh, and has a local preference of 130 compared to this route that has a local preference of 220. I mean 250. And for This route choosing R3 as the best route this year. Let me do the same command on R1. So for this route is choosing for this route choosing R3 best uh, about um, show IP BGP 7.7 so, so it's choosing the IBGP neighbor which is R2 let me show you another command that is actually another way of verifying it <laughs> yeah so so for r6 this route is in the routing table show ip route and it's choosing this r3 as the next stop and for this route, it's choosing R2 as the next stop. Show IP route. There we go. No, no. 6.6. Oops. What is that command again? 
Uh, there we go. So you don't have to here. So it's choosing R3, R3, and I mean the next step is R3, and here in the right in the this output is R3. So same. And now how about the 7.7 .7 network. Yeah, same. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go. I mean, gonna do this uh, simulation here. So I'm going to uh, shut down the uh, link or interface. Shut. Okay, neighbor flap down interface flap so I'm just gonna follow the instruction here notice the IP routing table 4 on R1 and R2 use in order to exit out of <coughs> go let's check actually so now it's choosing R2 as the next top compared to what we saw earlier which is R3 so uh, our policy is working as expected so far and let me do the same for this route yeah it's choosing uh, I mean it's going via R2 to get to this network right so showing the next stop R2 is showing the next stop this year and let me just do the same I mean these commands as well okay same oops same yeah so R2 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 so it's working as expected so the next hop is R3 on on the R2 and R3 link oh this is R2 now okay so I'm um, not do this on the router yet well yeah so R3 right same for this route so R3 so I can now I, I can read this statement the next hop this is R3 uh, on the R2 and R3 link R2 and R3 link. This confirms the configured policy works as expected. So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to create, to make another video and I'm going to try to explain or create a uh, step-by-step -step procedure on how you can configure a BGP community, community attribute. So that it is on this video. Thanks for watching.